if the Cowboys want him, you know what? Fleece the Cowboys. That's it. Because a guy like that, that he's showing you. Go in. What I would tell him right now, if I were the general manager, is, you know what? Prove to me you're invaluable. How are you invaluable to me now? You're 60 and 32. You were out there playing in these games. Lead my team so that we're not 16 and 32. And then I'll pay you whatever you want. If you were 32 and 16, you'd have something to argue about, about getting a new contract. At 16 and 32, how do you argue that? And how do you bring up Mahomes? He just won a Super Bowl. <laughs> come on. Bring it up, Mahomes. You can compare yourself to Mahomes? Like, come on. First of all, he's a quarterback. Secondly, come on. The guy just won a Super Bowl. You're on a team that you haven't won, had a winning season yet. See, guys come and they and they proclaim, and the media helps out to them, a lot of it. Oh, this guy's great. Pay him. What do you mean he's great? He's great when he makes my team win. Then he's great. You know when the Giants won when Shockey left? Everyone is, oh, Shockey can't leave with me. Oh, you can't replace a tight end line. Ernie Quinn said to me, this guy's going to be as big as Mickey Mantle. I said, well, Ernie, what, what world are you living in? Shockey never did anything after he left here. I mean, come on. People get crazy with players. If you're losing with a player, he's not invaluable. You've already lost with him. How about if he's winning, you don't want to lose him? I understand that. He's winning games. You want him to stay. You can't win any games. What the heck do you care if you change the whole team? 